Next up, we got some uh, some financial advice from everyone's favorite cult leader, Hamza. So let's go ahead and see what kind of financial advice we can squeeze from this. All right, Hamza, my buddy, how you doing? The one best thing that you can ever spend your money on, which you'll- I love his, his little bathrobe style things, or I don't know what he does. Maybe he like sends a rug to like a tailor who like puts these things together for him, but he's always got like the wildest outfits. I like, as far as, a, as far as a clothing gimmick goes, he's, he's got one of my favorite on YouTube, so YouTube, I think. Yeah, definitely. It's comfortable too. Yeah, it looks it. You're going to be slightly pissed off because your brain is going to reject this to begin with is to save time. Your brain isn't really understanding the importance of that, but any, any like entrepreneur who's watching this video, they can back me up. The number one best investment, the best use of your money, the best thing to spend your money on when you're first starting off, or honestly, just in general, no matter how rich you are, is to save time. Why? Because if you can save time and you have reduced mental load, you can then go ahead and achieve that success you know that j curve of success you saw like with my channel my success i was like a nobody like a year ago i had one one k subscribers i'm on like just under 400k on my main channel one year later hey he's right that's the way to do it it's like your most valuable asset is your time because you cannot multiply it you got a set amount right and so the best thing that you can do is make your time be more and more valuable. And the way you make your time more and more valuable is by getting all of that low value stuff off of your plate. Okay. Like this, if you were going to study like business and stuff like that, it's like, you've got different hourly rates for the work that you do. Maybe you, maybe some of your stuff, like for him, you know, and, and he's practicing what he's preaching. I see him on his channel, like hiring like video editors and thumbnail editors and stuff like that. And that's awesome. Uh, but like, for example, for uh, something like that, like a thumbnail editor or a video editor, that's something that you can put, you know, something between, depending on who you hire, how good they are, somewhere between, you know, $10 per hour to, uh, you know, 60 or $70 per hour work, okay? But if you're someone who's building a business, like, you know, if I'm coaching someone, uh, like a new client with, for me, it's like, you know, I charge like a thousand bucks per session. So that's a thousand bucks per hour. And that's not even the most valuable stuff I could do. It's like if I wanted, if I'm working on a course that might make me hundreds of thousands of dollars over the years, um, you know, that's even more valuable. If I'm making high level business decisions that could affect, you know, my income for a long time, that's like $10,000 uh, per hour work, right? And so this is how you got to start thinking about your time is like how valuable is what I am doing right now? And, you know, everyone has different levels of this kind of stuff. So if you're someone who's working an hourly job of like, you know, 20 bucks an hour or something like that, um, when you stop and think about your business, you stop and think about your career trajectory and you make a plan for increasing that time, all of a sudden that time, it's like maybe you're not even getting paid for it in that moment, but that investment, if it can lead to much more money later, then that you're making much, then that's much more than $20 per hour work, right? And so this is what you want to be kind of constantly thinking about uh, is how do I make the, my time investment a higher hourly rate? And the only way you're going to be making sure that you're doing only the best stuff, that highest paid work, is if you're delegating that other stuff. And everyone can delegate to some degree. Like if you're someone who really wants to take this seriously, there's all different sorts of ways you can do it. Like, you know, you can be paying for cleaning services, you can be paying for for meal services, all that kind of stuff. And um, it works, it's valuable, it's necessary because you can't do everything, right? I, I, back when I was running my business just by myself, I just kept, trying to figure out how could I do more different tasks in a day? It's like, how could I edit the video, you know, manage my SEO, uh, talk to my clients, um, you know, do the thumbnails, post on social media, uh, study business development, like come up with the, the new business plan, like doing all these things. I was like trying to figure out how could I just like, I'd have like a calendar with like 300 different things on it and I'd have to like task switch a million times a day. Mm -hmm. And no matter how, competent you are, there is a ceiling where you just can't do anymore, not, at least not effectively. It's super, super difficult. You will just struggle because every time we task switch, switch, 
that's energy lost. It's like your brain has a time period where it has to forget about what you were just doing and then it's got to load up all the information for what you're going to do now. So every time you do that throughout the day, you're losing energy, becoming less efficient. But more than that, the act of making decisions about what's going to be in your day, that starts becoming increasingly more challenging because like in order to put together with these days of, you know, all these different tasks, planning my day would take almost as much energy as actually doing it because I had to like manage all these different threads and figure out, okay, which one I'm going to do today. I'm going to do it this time. And like, it's just not worth it. Right. So at a certain point, like I think we're designed this way uh, where at a certain point you have to start spreading the load around. You have to um, start specializing and getting support. And honestly, it just makes it way more fun and engaging too. If you actually hire good people, you know, it's a, it's, it's a, a wonderful thing. And many people are afraid of it because it's like, oh, I don't want to share the profits. It's like, fine, stay poor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not saying that there aren't successful people who are out there solo, but those people who are doing it all solo, they could be so much more successful if they brought a team on just for like oh, yeah. basic stuff. Like it's, it's pretty unbelievable. So, you know, don't be that person who's just like, well, I don't know how to hire someone. It's like, well, watch a YouTube video on it. You can learn everything, anything on YouTube. It's like, it's, it's as simple as like going to fiverr.com and trying to do it. Or if you've got a community already, then it's about reaching out to that community and starting to hire from there. Um, you know, for, but for sure, managing your time is ultra, ultra essential. I want to get your opinion on this because one of my favorite pieces of advice from Perry Marshall is uh, Perry Marshall, author of 8020 Sales and Marketing, for you guys who don't know. But Perry Marshall says, when you're making more than 30 bucks an hour, you should hire a personal assistant. And I don't know why that just blew my mind when he said that. I was like, I guess I never pictured myself with a, a personal assistant, but I'm like, oh, that's a goal now. I'm going to try to get a personal assistant. So what are your thoughts on a personal assistant? Because a lot of people, you know, they can't outsource to Fiverr. They they maybe work a job where they actually go to a place to work and it, there's no, there's no, you know, they're not online, uh, you know, digital nomads like us, I guess. Right. Um, I think it's absolutely something that a lot of people should consider. Um, like I, you're kind of like my assistant now. Um, but at a, uh, eventually I want you to have your own assistant and I probably want an assistant just for my personal side of things because like, you know, I can't even tell you how much time I spent just like I spend just like doing stuff like booking like doctor's appointments and managing insurance payments and exactly. just like just like dumb shit I just don't feel like dealing with but it's just like administrative overhead that that takes me away from doing the stuff that only I can do and so it's like you know that that's uh, I mean if you're looking to do the best you're looking to actually accomplish the most you can in your life you want to unleash the most of your potential then that's the way to do it um, and this is where um, you know the whole traditional marriage thing if you can you know if you can find a woman who wants to play that game with you it can work out really well because I know a lot of business owners where it's like yeah the uh, the the man you know he's kind of like he runs the high level business stuff but then his wife is essentially like his you know person who keeps everything connected and running um, and so you know that's a classic dynamic that has proven to be massively successful uh, over a long period of time. Like that whole idea of um, the, you know, behind every great man is a great woman kind of thing. Yeah, it's a, it's a really powerful thing. I mean, like right now, that's part of the only reason why I can function is because my wife is at home. She takes care of uh, the home and stuff like that. And uh, I'd be living in absolute squalor if that wasn't <laughs> the case. And if you're a bachelor, I mean, you're probably living in squalor anyway. Let's just be real. I mean, that's just... <laughs> <laughs> how yep. guys behave tend but you don't have to be and in fact you would be more satisfied i think if you just put a little bit of extra money into getting your your place cleaned up hire a cleaning service um and that money you put in there i can almost guarantee the the excess kind of clarity and space and relaxation you would get by living in a clean environment would more than pay for itself so something to think about guys 